Hey guys, welcome back. I am Mario Vegas and you are watching Tank Zone. Today let's take a look at uh, BVP M2 SKCZ Shakal TS6 uh, Czech and Slovak Armored Fighting Vehicle. As usually, let's start with history. Development of uh, BVP M2 SKCZ Shakal started in early 2010s as joined the Czech and Slovak project to design a replacement of the old Soviet BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicle. It is an interesting upgrade. A joint team of Czech Excalibur Army and the Slovak companies VOP Transin and the EVPU introduced this modernized uh, BMP at the International Exhibition of uh, Defense and Security Technologies in 2013. Its Slavian name Shakal means jackal. Uh, the jackal is fitted with a new weapon station. The old turret of uh, BVP-2 is replaced by a, a remotely controlled weapon station Tara 30. The turret is armed with one 30 mm cannon, one 7.62 mm coaxial machine gun, anti-tank guided missile system and smoke grenade launches covering an area of 120 degrees. Two launchers of anti-tank guided missiles Concas are mounted on the left side of the turret. The main gun is fully stabilized and can fire accurately while vehicle is driving. Vehicle is uh, fitted with a night vision, laser warning system, computerized fire control and battle management system. Turret traverse and weapon elevation are electronically powered with minus 10 degrees depression and plus 75 degrees elevation, which allows them to engage such threats as light and medium armored vehicles personnel and low-flying targets. All vehicles' weapons uh, can be operated both by commander or gunner. Vehicle has better protection. Uh, firing ports on hull sides were removed. The interior is lined with spall linen and it has uh, all-round protection against armored piercing bullets. Vehicle can be fitted with an additional armor kit and slat arm to boost its protection against anti-tank guided missile and rocket propelled grenade attacks. Uh, it has individual seats which improves protection against the mine blasts. Vehicle is also fitted with an automatic fire extinguishing system and has more room in the troops compartment. Uh, the Jackal can carry a total of six troopers, uh, uh, which can enter and leave the vehicle throughout the rear doors or roof hatches. It is worth to mention that uh, original BMP-2 fuel tanks were built into the rear doors and were a serious threat to troopers uh, survivability if hit. Therefore, the BVPM2 uh, fuel tanks were relocated and doors replaced by hydraulic ramp including a manual doors in the center. The vehicle is powered by a new Caterpillar C9.3 turbocharger 400 horsepower diesel engine and fitted with a new automatic transmission. Its maximum road speed is 70 km per hour with a, a maximum range of 550 km. Jackal weight is 19 tons and it can be transported by an aircraft. 
During the Cold War, the original BVP-2 model was produced in the former Czechoslovakia in thousands. Currently, a number of those uh, machines remain in service with both uh, Czech Republic and Slovakia. However, BVP M2 SK CZ Jackal was only built and tested, but was never taken into service due to the fact that in its core it is still a um, BVP2. It is only upgraded and uh, is limited for the needs of the modern battlefield. And now let's uh, dive into the game. Let's start with stats. I put stock stats next to mine so that you can compare and be informed about those as well. Let's go through my stats. Sustained damage. 41 damage with a 10 mm penetration, uh, which are stats for auto cannon high explosive ammunition. For anti-tank guided missiles it is way high. 700 mm penetration and 665 damage. Vehicle is equipped with twin self-homing anti-tank guided missiles, which is capable to inflict heavy damage on enemy targets. Therefore, it has nice 24,115 damage per minute. Autocannon reload time is uh, 0.17 seconds and its burst fire rate is uh, 588 rounds per minute. Missile reload time is a bit longer, 16 seconds. The Jackal missiles can be guided manually or locked on. If locked on, the missile will follow target even around corner. So a vehicle's arsenal is more than enough to give a punch. Defense. Vehicle has uh, 2070 hit points. Quite good for AFV. It has uh, 70 mm frontal hull arm and 55 mm on sides and rear. Armor is made of steel. Turret armor is made of steel as well with uh, 60 mm in front and 30 mm on side and rear. So Jackal is relatively well armed fighting vehicle, especially against auto cannon fire. Mobility. Its maximum speed is uh, 65 km per hour, acceleration 2.83 seconds, uh, weight in the game is 14.3 uh, tons and hull traverse uh, 37.08 uh, degrees per second. Overall mobility is alright. Only cons are its reverse sluggishness and the traverse speed could be something more as well. But um, there is one important point worth to remember. If you move on a low speed, it doesn't reduce your camo factor. So, and vehicle's camo itself is very good. Overall, 42% and 50% while standing. Its vision range is uh, 458.8 meters while moving and 488.8 meters while stopped. Uh, vehicle has recon package which uh, provides an improved vision range when stationary. So, and targeting. A uh, small gun depression, minus 5 degrees, uh, elevation plus 75 degrees, uh, fully aimed accuracy 0 0.170, aim time 1.51 seconds and turret traverse uh, 53.25 degrees per second. So Jackal is well armed and has relatively good arm. It is powerful support vehicle. Uh, probably it can be played as a flanker. However, personally, I prefer to play it more like a second 
line support vehicle and not as usually with my other AFVs, which I like to use uh, for flanking and harassing enemies even from short ranges. Uh, somehow I feel uh, this vehicle is uh, a bit too slow, especially during reverse movement and not so maneuverable as other AFVs. A missile launcher is uh, far left of the targeting reticle, which during close range combat makes uh, your shots uh, quite inaccurate. So therefore I prefer to play Jackal with mechanized infantry, deploy them fast, uh, setting up uh, anti-tank ambush and then keep some distance uh, from the enemy and uh, serve more like a tank destroyer and utilize its missile power. Uh, so, let's uh, take a look at retrofits. Suggested retrofits are Advanced Muzzle Reference System Augmented Optics Improved Gun Breach And Improved Pioneer Tool Kit I chose Augmented Optics to boost vision while moving Electro-Optical Absorbing Paint to even more increase its camo and improved gun breach uh, to reload faster, which probably could be swapped to advanced uh, muzzle reference system instead. Uh, now let's uh, uh, take a look at suggested commander and crew skills. As BVPM2 commander is suggested Sabrina Washington to improve the camo rating and uh, view range. Uh, suggested driver skills are spin to win and off-road driving for gunner sharpshooter and do the twist and for loader rapid fire and explosive shells uh, now let's uh, check out the uh, bvp m2 armament vehicle has uh, fitted uh, 30 millimeter to a 42 auto cannon with a uh, 1.6 seconds stock aim time and 0.2 seconds reload time. And the vehicle has a Spike LR anti-tank guided missile launcher with 16 seconds reload time and 2 seconds reload within magazine. So, ammunition. IFV uh, has a Spike Spike LR anti-tank guided missiles with a heat warhead, capable to penetrate uh, 700 mm of basic homogeneous arm and inflict uh, 665 damage. So no tandem, therefore watch out for vehicles uh, fitted with ERA. A vehicles, uh, Auto cannon is loaded with a 30 mm JOSV high explosive ammunition uh, with a 10 mm penetration and uh, higher damage rates uh, than uh, armored piercing rounds. Uh, therefore, this type of ammunition is suggested uh, to use on lightly armored and fast uh, moving targets. Auto cannon is armed with uh, AP rounds as well, uh, with uh, up to 180 mm penetration depending on distance and uh, 22 damage. It's universal type of ammunition. I personally mostly use AP rounds uh, to increase chances uh, to penetrate targets. So, but it's your own choice. Uh, BVP M2 can carry a four anti-tank troopers, uh, deploy sniper or mortar squad. But if you do not uh, play with mechanized infantry, then you can utilize a BVP M2 designated target ability, which allows you to mark the target, making it uh, spotted uh, for its duration and additionally will uh, um, make uh, to receive this target increased damage. It is ideal ability to utilize if you like to play as a scout or as a, a second line of support vehicle as well. And now let's take a look at BVP M2 
SKCZ Shakal Armored Fighting Vehicle in action. That's squad reporting. Taking position. Identify target. As you can see, Jackal uh, can be a good and very powerful support vehicle. Its main pros are relatively strong armor against auto cannon ammunition, uh, good camo and missile power. However, we should remember about its uh, slow reverse speed and incapability to shoot uh, uh, precisely at a close range. Therefore, I would suggest to use it as a second line fire support or as a flanker if uh, a flanking maneuver is performed with a proper large hook, uh, keeping enemies at a distance while moving. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, smash thumbs up button, hit the bell and subscribe. That's all for now, stay tuned for more tank reviews and gameplays. Thank you for watching this video, have a good day and see you next time.